Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I am just going to do a couple of days in my life and kind of start getting back into vlogging. I feel like I took a little bit of a break. I've just honestly been feeling very uninspired, very unfulfilled, just overall like doubting a lot of things, which sucks. Um, but I feel like I'm in a better headspace and I wanted to pick up the camera and vlog because life is about to get super fun and exciting. South by Southwest is starting this Friday and if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much like a music film tech festival here in Austin and I am attending a few events for that and I think I'm going to make that a separate vlog. So that's why I decided to just do like a few days in my life and it's currently Tuesday. A couple of little life updates. I am in the midst of my busy season with photography. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a photographer and I also do content creation. For photography, I shoot pretty much everything except for weddings and I specialize in college grads, which means it is busy season. It started in February, like late February, and it's going to go through probably early May. Apparently UT moved their graduation up, which honestly I'm very happy about because I think it used to be like May 22nd ish and now it's May 6th. So hopefully grad sessions will be slowing down a lot sooner. And the only reason I'm saying that is because it's just so brutal to be out there in the Texas heat when you're like shooting photos. Obviously it's not ideal for the client either because they're like sweating off their makeup. There were definitely times that I was so close to passing out from heat exhaustion. So now I've learned to hydrate and like eat really, really well before I go out for like a shoot when it's really hot outside. Um, so that is a big life update because I've been really busy with that. I feel like a lot of people think that photographers just go and take the photos and then that's it. But there's obviously a lot of editing to do and that is like a fun part, but also can be the worst part because you have to sit down at your computer for like hours on end. So this year I'm really trying to stay on top of the editing and like get the photos out within like two weeks so I don't get really overwhelmed. I guess another life update is that Ryan moved home in February, so it's been almost a month of him living back here in Austin. He was home for like six months. I'm so glad he's back, but you know, obviously when you live alone for a good amount of time, you kind of get in the groove of just doing things how you want them to be done. I know I got a question the other day about like the house hunting process and I think I recently said this, maybe it was on Instagram stories, but basically we have this lease till November and I don't really want to break it because that's, you know, going to cost us a good amount of money and that money could just like go into the house we are probably going to have to like renovate a little bit. Um, so I'm not super serious. I'm obviously actively looking because that is like so fun just like browsing Zillow and I have a realtor friend that's helping me out so she put me in the MLS and everything so I'm getting those notifications but honestly I just want to house more and more every single day I want Sophie to have a backyard I want to have a backyard I want to like do gardening even though I don't really think I have a green thumb but maybe hopefully I will one day <laughs> but yeah that is the update on that I mean honestly something could like pop up and it could be like a really good deal that it would be worth breaking the lease so I will definitely keep you guys updated but we're putting that out there that I'm gonna buy a house this year we're manifesting it and I am just so excited for when that process is here the last life update I have for you guys is that I just got the most exciting package in the mail like I am going to die when I open it up it came in last night but I wanted to wait so that I could do like a little unboxing with you know some good light um, but basically I decided to purchase another camera and this camera is going to be more for personal use. If you guys know anything about cameras, you have probably seen this all over TikTok. I feel like it's very like trendy on TikTok and I was definitely influenced by my friend Ann Mark. She's a photographer here in Austin and she posted this TikTok and the photos were so amazing it's almost like a film camera but not like it has film simulations in it and i'm gonna play around with it and once i like figure everything out i can definitely do like some videos more about it um and talk more about it but i need to like learn it first but basically it's just like a digital camera that has like built-in like presets filters you can like make your own pretty much and it's also very portable so I've watched like so many reviews from pro photographers and they all say that this is like their favorite camera and these people have like like 
a little under 50 cameras but like seriously they like get sponsored from other companies so they get cameras for free the biggest thing that stood out to me is that they all said that this made them a little bit more passionate about photography and just really excited about it again because it is like a personal like size so you're able to bring it around everywhere and it's just kind of again per for personal use it's not going to be really used for like any client work but i'm really excited about it so let's open it up recording hey guys coming to you from the fuji film day has already gotten away from me um i'm headed over to ut for a shoot and i kind of want to use my camera although the session is a lot shorter it's just like one hour so i don't know if i'll be like rushed but i might just like pull her aside for like literally five minutes after the shoot and just like play around with it we'll see we'll see um but i am so excited because this camera has like fuji film recipes that you can like customize the settings and pretty much make it like a film camera but they're like digital photos so you don't have to like develop film because i've definitely thought about getting a film camera but i'm like honestly at the end of the day that's so much more time because you have to wait for them to get developed and then also so much more money and i'm not saying this camera is cheap because it definitely skyrocketed after like tiktok made it so trendy um but i feel like it's definitely like a really good investment and like a good personal camera for me like i said before so i'm really excited to just like play around with it more but going to my shoot changed my outfit you guys don't even want to see my outfits during my shoots because i don't i don't really care what i look like i'm just wearing a big t-shirt and jeans um but i'm hoping i won't get too hot like i don't really usually wear jeans but they're so comfy so i want to back home for my shoot and it is dinner time i actually got to use my new camera on my grad so that was kind of fun and i haven't uploaded it to the computer yet but i'll try to put some in this vlog dinner tonight is going to be this branzino filet we're going to do like a greek kind of fish with red onions lemons parsley garlic all the good stuff it's going to be very yummy and i also need to decide i haven't really decided what i'm gonna make maybe like polenta do you want polenta it's like grits. It's yummy. Actually, I really want that. Let's do it. Dinner is served, we have the fish, and then I did polenta, and it's gonna be so yummy. I haven't had this dish in so long. I don't even know if this really goes together, but that's okay. I'm really proud of myself because I'm like cleaning out my fridge, cleaning out the pantry, because we're actually like eating at home a lot. Recently, last night I did Euro Bowls from Trader Joe's. I made like a little TikTok about it, so if you guys wanna go check that out, it's literally so easy to make. Um, this definitely took a little bit more effort, not that much, 
I just kind of forgot how to make the polenta, so I kind of goofed up. I put capers on mine. Ryan doesn't really like capers, so I left them off of his. And usually my dad will get like the Branzino fillets just at a grocery store and they'll have like bones in them, but these are boneless and you can get it at Trader Joe's. It is Wednesday and I took a day off from working out, so rest day and I actually ended up pushing my session my um, morning session back and now I'm regretting it because it's sunny outside and blue skies and yesterday when it said it was cloudy it was like really really hazy and cloudy so I was like okay let's just push it back because we know it's gonna be cloudy tomorrow and now it's like not <laughs> it's like really sunny um, so it shall be interesting we are really wanting a beach vacation right now and the, the second part is is that like well he has a work conference next week and then we're going to nashville south by southwest is happening like this next week too and then once we come back i feel like we already have like random trips planned just like not to the beach and then obviously i have my grad season so i already have shoots booked so like the soonest that i could probably go is in may and ryan's like that's so late but i don't know we'll figure it out It is currently Thursday. I kind of dropped the ball on vlogging yesterday because it just did not go how I planned. I also ended up falling on like pavement and scratched up my knee so bad. We are going to go to a watch shop because I bought this beautiful watch on Amazon. I've been dying to get like a rectangular gold watch and obviously the ones that I've seen are definitely a bit more pricey. I mean this is I think I can't remember if it's like under 300 or was it 200 but obviously not cheap but it is like a nice watch and my boyfriend knows a lot about watches so I was like what do you think about this brand and he was like it's pretty nice so I ended up getting the watch but it's huge on my wrist it literally even was big on Ryan's wrist so we're gonna go to the watch shop to like get them to take the links out or whatever just to make it fit better um, because I have a South by Southwest event tomorrow starting tomorrow i'm so excited but i definitely want to wear the watch for then so hopefully they can get it done like while we're there i don't know how fast they can do it um but we're gonna go check that out we're back home it didn't take that much time at all for him to like remove the links and he took off five links which is kind of a lot and then I put it on and I was like, it's still kind of loose. So he took off one more and this is what it looks like. I think it looks so cute with like all my jewelry. Um, and I got this from Amazon. I'm not sure if like where else you can get it, but let me show you guys a close up. So the brand is Bulova and this is what it looks like. It has like a clasp on the other side and there's like three little, I'm, I doubt they're like actual diamonds, but there's like three little like shiny things in there and I just think it's really pretty and very classy. Time for some late breakfast. This is my favorite sourdough. It's actually from Trader Joe's and I go there quite often just to get the sourdough. Um, but I'm just gonna do like one or two pieces, put some butter and big jam on it. It's my newest obsession. And for late lunch, I'll just probably have some leftover Thai food that we got last night. This is the fig jam I'm using today. Just bought it at the grocery store, nothing that exciting or crazy. We're also really low on groceries. Um, so I am going to have to go to the grocery store soon. Kind of want to go to Central Market just for the fun of it. Um, but I know this weekend is the start of South By, so I feel like, you know, we'll be eating out kind of a lot. Um, but definitely want to just have some basics in case we have some time to like eat in um save some money because we're going to nashville soon and i know we're going to be eating out like every single day in nashville i've also just really enjoyed cooking and it makes me happy that i do enjoy it again because i feel like ever since ryan moved back in i have more of a reason to cook because it's so much more fulfilling to cook for someone else you know so it makes me happy that i can feed him and he actually like enjoys my meals like one time he was like eh, I'm not really in the mood for fish and then I made it and he was like wow that's actually really good and I was like yeah gotta finish it off with a little bit of salt 
because I love sweet and savory. And this is what it looks like. Nothing exciting, but it is delicious. I really thought I was gonna like do a lot of filming today, but it just ended up being a admin day because I wanted to reply to a lot of like South by Southwest emails that I've been getting recently. And it's so funny because I was at um, my friend Kayla Quinn's baby shower on Sunday. And so there was a lot of other influencers there and we were just like, what the heck? I haven't really gotten like that many South by Southwest emails. And last year I feel like we had started getting them you know three weeks out and we were just like maybe not a lot is happening or whatever but now i'm still getting emails for south by southwest events so i feel like they're just all really last minute and it's so wild to me because you're spending all this money to have an event you probably knew that you're gonna have the event like months ago so i wonder what is the reasoning for such a last minute invite you know if you guys have any insight on that i would love to know because i'm just very curious um but i am very excited that i'm getting invited to some events and tomorrow's gonna be crazy because i invited one of my friends amelia to be my plus one for the last event of the day and then she texted me do you want to come to this event before the event that you invited me to as my plus one so i was like of course but then i told her about another event before that event and it's like literally back to back to back, like kind of overlapping. So tomorrow is going to be very, very interesting. And I'll definitely be doing an in-depth South by Southwest vlog because I'm just so excited about everything. So I went ahead and replied to all the emails. And then my friend Kim texts me um, all the events she's going to. And it's funny because it's like our New York Fashion Week. That's what I treat it as because it's definitely a good place to network. There's so many brands that come and have events here. So I definitely use it as my New York Fashion Week. Um, but my friend was texting me all the events that she was going to go to to see if we were like gonna be at the same events. There was one with Bumble that I was like, dang, I really wish I got invited to that, like in my mind. I was like searching on LinkedIn for a good contact to maybe like email them my media kit to get an invite. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's like kind of, the camera's far away. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. But anyways, I was trying to look on LinkedIn for contact so I could, you know, maybe possibly get an invite for the event. And then 20 minutes after me, like trying to search everything I could, didn't really get anywhere. I realized that I was actually invited to the event. I just forgot to reply to the email. I had opened it and then like didn't put it back on like unread, you know? So I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. <laughs> but I'm very excited for next week. And this weekend, it's just going to be like chaotic and crazy. Ryan is going to a conference in Georgia on Friday. Wait, no, not Friday. On Sunday. And then we leave to go to Nashville on Thursday. And I'm going to see my college best friends. Like, seriously, these next two weeks are going to be literally the best two weeks. Probably very chaotic, but that will be good vlog content, I guess. So, very, very excited about that. And I'm currently listening to the new Morgan Wallen. Um album it has 36 freaking songs on it so love that and i feel like maybe they'll play some morning wall and stuff in nashville so i'm like trying to study that and also we got invited to a group love concert which i feel like i've heard of that name i definitely know their one song i think it's called tongue tied it's definitely not my favorite kind of music but i do really like kind of like that indie music sometimes especially when it's like in vlogs i love to put like indie music in my vlogs also lo-fi music i feel like i definitely use lo-fi more than indie music but if there's a reason to use indie music i definitely try to because i just feel like it's so calming so that's happening on saturday i think and ooh, i also just signed up for fashion or not fashion pass oh my gosh read the runway i'm gonna actually fix the lighting because now it's pissing me off how dark it is Sorry about that. Okay, I did sign up for the Rent the Runway. I have been doing Fashion Pass for the past, like, uh, I think I started in September. Like, I've actually been doing it for a while now. And I thought I was gonna stop, but then I kept having events. And it was just really useful because I didn't have to buy, like, a whole new outfit for that event. And so now that South by Southwest is here, I wanted to dress even nicer. And I know Red the Runway has like designer brands on there. And it definitely got way better since I did it for the first time because I did it before COVID when they had the unlimited plans. Really nice, but unfortunately they changed their plans. They don't do unlimited anymore, which kind of sucks, but I totally get like that 
they were probably like losing money by doing that. I'm not really exactly sure, but um, I'm doing Rent the Runway for my South by Southwest events and then maybe Nashville. I haven't really searched to see if there was like any options for Nashville, but we will see. Uh, I'm planning on like returning all the clothes on Sunday so that I can like really quickly, you know, put in my uh, selects for Nashville and hopefully get it before Thursday. We'll see if that is even a possibility. I was going through my funk of just feeling really not passionate about YouTube and stuff and I'm not gonna say I'm not over it because I'm still kind of feeling that way, but I tried to make a list of how I'm different from other YouTubers and content creators and on that list was that I'm a photographer and I feel like I definitely don't show a lot of what that entails in my everyday life. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I feel like that's very niche though. So if you don't really care about photography, you might not give a fuck. So I don't know. My fear of creating that kind of content is that I'll niche myself down and like put myself into a box and I definitely don't want to be creating like photography content all the time and I do try to separate them like I'll have my separate Pinterest photography account and then I'll have my separate Instagram photography account and I'll try and you know to separate them as best as I can um so if you guys are interested in my photography stuff definitely go follow me on all of those platforms at Sonali Productions and I post like TikToks and Reels, not as often as I should be, but there's just like a lot going on in my brain all the time. So I am very excited though, because tonight Ryan was like, we should just go to get some tacos. And I was like, okay, I'm so down. And he said, we should go to Garros. Is it Guerros or Garros? I don't really know how to pronounce it on South Congress. And they have the best raspberry margs. You have to get the frozen margs because the house margs are disgusting. Ryan always gets the house margs. Like he forgets that they're gross, but um, the frozen raspberry margs, oh my goodness. I'm so excited. And then I get the pastor tacos so good they have like pineapple i love the pastor with pineapple some of the street taco tr like taco trucks don't do the pineapple and makes me sad because i feel like it just makes the pastor a pastor but i invited my friends and their boyfriends to come meet us my friend actually just um she facetimed to me like i think it was two hours ago but i got so happy it's so weird when you don't see like your friends I guess throughout the week sometimes we'll hang out during the week but, but the weeks we don't it feels like I haven't seen these girls in months when I see them on the weekend like I'm so dramatic but it's so sad so I was really excited that she FaceTimed me and we had a little vent sesh so that was really fun okay I need to get back to work because I really want to finish like at least two of these galleries and I do want to try to create some TikToks before dinner so I'm gonna hunker down and Edit. My car is so gross, I need to clean. Same. I'm like throwing everything in everywhere, I feel like. So chaotic. Wait, also, so Ryan is back now? Yeah, did I not tell you? When did that happen? <laughs> in February. Oh my god, have you, like, are you so happy to have him back? Yeah, like I went through like my roller coaster kind of. Yeah. Because I was like so used to being alone and stuff. And then like he came back and then. I, um, like, you know, having a man, and then, like, him just, like, like have, having it ugly. Yeah, like, and having his shoes, like, yeah. just walking everywhere with his, with his shoes, and I'm just like, can you just take them off? And, like, yeah. I had to get used to, like, that, and, like, just not nagging him so much, you know? Yeah. Um, but, like, now it is so nice, and I'm like, every time he goes to golf, I'm like, can you not leave me? Like, just don't ever leave me yeah. again. Like, Oh, oh no. no. Wait, I'm gonna actually try and find a noon? Or like, what's the team with like, oh my god. Yeah, so, so basically the house situation, like my lease ends in November. And like, I don't want to rush anything because I really don't want to pay the to break a lease because that is not cheap. Yeah. So, um... Uh, we're just like looking. I mean, we like my friend Kiana is our realtor, so she has us set up in like the MLS and stuff. So like I check it like very often, and I saw this like really nice duplex thingy, which it would be smaller than where we're living in because like obviously we'd live in one and rent out the other, but it was like uh, we could rent out the other for like stupid amounts of money. 
and like it was like a really good like it was south which i don't really want to be south but it was a good location compared to like things like places to go and stuff and it was like kind of pretty much fully renovated and stuff but i just don't know when to be serious about like the house buying stuff you know like i'm like I mean, but, like, if the oh, they said specifically well tiktok said <laughs> that specifically austin is going to like like the houses are going to drop like they said q2 which technically it's q2 already right no oh. it will be q2 in april oh yeah so they said like q2 was when it would start showing oh my god i know Eeks. wait that's so i will like cry when i see all like the house content i know but Ryan, Ryan's telling me like we should buy a fixer upper and like I I feel that because like obviously if I buy a house like I'm gonna want to change things anyways because like I have such a specific aesthetic but like I don't know like that's gonna take so long and well what if you guys found like a good cheap fixer upper like now yeah. you still save your apartment but right. like at this place that was like practically ready for you in November yeah I don't know. Like, it's just like again, like so hard to like even be like so serious about it because I'm like scared. Oh my god, yeah. that's honestly so exciting though. Yeah, and it's gonna happen this year because I'm manifesting. Like I'm not taking no for an answer. You know? Yeah, like, it's happening yeah. this year. So yeah, I feel it. Um, but South by Southwest is coming up. When? Like starts on tomorrow. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. It's very chaotic because all of the invites are so last minute, like so last minute. Hi, I forgot to bring my vlog camera, Oops. but I did bring my new fun camera. We're going to dinner, getting some tacos and marks, and our friends are meeting us. I'm so excited to see them. Guys, things are already happening for South by. Things are getting set up. I'm going to this event on Saturday, I believe, but this is so fun. Amazon, yeah. officially South by Southwest. Honestly, this came way too fast. Like, I don't even know how this happened. This year is already flying by so fast. Um, also, yes, I'm not sure I'll ever stop wearing my sorority t-shirts. I threw away a bunch, like the ones that weren't that comfortable, but I definitely kept my favorites. And I have about like nine favorites. So <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be 30 something and wearing these t-shirts. Also, Ryan, loves to remind me that I'm very close to 30. But my sister's even closer. She's turning 29 this month. 29, my sister. That's like so weird. I mean, I'm only 26, so I'm, I'm a little farther out, but still like, I definitely above that 25 line. Get close, get scary. Today I have three events back to back. Like, I don't even know how we're gonna do it. I don't know if we're gonna drive my car or Uber because I'm going with my friend Amelia to all of them but we want to change for all of them. That definitely makes it a little bit harder. Um, so, still got to think about that. I also have to figure out what I'm wearing. I haven't really opened my rent runway package. Um, so we'll do all that today. My main priority today is getting my toes done because they are actually atrocious. I was trying to wait as long as I could until South By and then Nashville um, to get my toes done. I've been doing my own nails recently and I love doing my own nail. I mean, definitely does not save me any time at all because it takes like so much more time because I want to be like so perfect with them. But basically now they've kind of grown out so I could use my real nails, but two of them were short or like too short. So I decided to use like the little Gel X press-ons and basically Gel X is like, it's like a fake nail. It's a press-on that you put on your nail, you glue it on and then paint gel over it. That's gel X. And then builder gel is what I have on like every nail. Um, and that is just what makes your nail a little bit thicker, like a real nail. So I can grow out 
really nicely. Um, so I'm trying Builder Gel out for the first time. And so far so good. One chipped, which is sad, but it's okay because I think I'm going to redo them for Nashville. I also bought like a couple of OPI gel colors on walmart.com. I always thought you had to have like a little beauty license number to get OPI gel. So I'm very excited about that. I got like all the good ones like Bunny Bunny. Um, my favorite OPI gel or just regular nail polish is Do You Take Lay Away? Lay spelled L-E-I. So good. Such a perfect neutral for my skin tone at least. Um, I can't remember the, oh, bubble bath of course. Literally just all the classics. I slept in a bit. I need to wash my hair and then we're going to go to the nail salon right when they open so I don't have to wait. Um, but first, let's do like a little mask. I think I'm going to do like two masks today. Let's see. Here is the mask of choice for today. Bloom. I only heard about this recently. It was gifted. Um, I think it sold us for it. I don't know. 100% sure. I've used this already. It's kind of like a charcoal mask. Just want to, you know, get all this stuff out from my pores, but let me brush my teeth, wash my face, all that good stuff. I know everyone hates this headband, but I think it's practical and useful. So this is actually purple. Look at that. Purple pink. I just feel like I need a little TLC. Honestly, around my nose, that's like, I feel like the most clogged. have to clean a little bit in the mornings if I don't do it in the evenings like I prefer to do it in the evenings but sometimes it doesn't always happen that way so I just did some dishes and now I'm gonna hop in the shower it's definitely a hair wash day so we'll get that taken care of we'll shave we'll wash this face mask off in the shower and then head over to the nail salon Back home, got my toes done. I actually love this color. It was Lisbon once more. Probably one of my favorite pet cures I've ever gotten. So very pumped about that. Went to Central Market because I feel like we don't really have much food in the fridge. Ryan says otherwise. He says there's too much stuff in the fridge, but you know how like, you just have a lot of random little things, but they just don't make a meal. <laughs> so I think that's what's going on. Got some lactate milk. I got some sushi because I thought that would just be like a quick little meal, although I don't know if their sushi is like amazing. I ran out of this oat milk and it is such a good oat milk and I've only ever really seen it at Central Market. I just thought this could be a yummy side one day to deter me from going to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> um, we got some butter sticks just because I feel like it's good to have and we don't have like just normal butter other than my like vegan butter. Mushrooms, of course we have Olipop, but I actually have a box of Olipop sitting in an Amazon box over there. I got like a variety pack on Amazon, um, but they did not have this flavor, which is one of the newer ones. Tropical Punch is so, so yummy. Um, Ryan, I did get meat and cheese for a sandwich if you want. Meat and cheese. And then we got arugula. I've been really having a hard time finding arugula lately. I don't know if there's like a shortage or what's going on, but very interesting. <laughs> I got some bacon because I've been like craving bacon lately and some Lily's chocolate. It says no sugar added. I feel like I had like a salted caramel last time and I couldn't find that. And I was really sad because that was really good. Um, let's see. Ooh, so good. I used to eat these when I was like younger. Um, they're just like a quick meal, maybe not the healthiest. I got these little non dippers because I have hummus in the fridge. I don't think it's expiring for a while, so got those to eat it up. And then bananas. You and I have bananas that are um, <laughs> rotting away over there, but that's just how life works, guys. That's just how it goes. You just keep buying bananas. <laughs> And then I have a whole thing of baby spinach. I like putting that in like my smoothies or just like as a side, like to do garlic spinach. It's very fast and yum. Wait, is that it? Okay, 
that's it and now i have to put it all away okay never mind this is the last thing i got and i've been seeing so much about this olive oil on tiktok i got the one that's just for drizzling so you would just drizzle it on like your dish or whatever after um i wonder if you can just like eat it with bread there was one for sizzling but i already have like olive oil to like you know cook with so i just got the drizzle one so excited to use that and now let's put it away